hello my little munchkins crones and sunflowers how are you on this friday night yes oh no it's thursday are you kidding i am not kidding no and yes it is thursday oh my goodness what is going on with me you know why what? because the allergies are supposed to be closed tomorrow and because of that i thought it was friday gotcha well nevertheless Thank you, baby Cole, for bringing me back because, you know, time seems like it's just going fast. I mean, we're already in the middle of the month, the year. We passed the middle. Yes, we are past the middle. We're in the seventh month. Yes, we are. Well, we have four more months to go before we got a new year. You're ruining that. I'm thinking, okay, thank you. Oh, okay. I was you got to lean that over. You're I was trying to be fancy on no, camera. No, you're ruining the, um, the instant. So we have four more months. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. We got five more months. Oh, five. Before we hit a new year. All right. Give it here. Light it. Okay. This candle won't play games. No, today. it's just you. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Okay. Sorry about that. Wait a minute. I don't have no glasses. Like me. Like me, baby. Like me. This time we'll just let it burn out. Okay. Is it in? There it is. There okay, it is. There we go. Who no, 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 who no. Oh, only good energy. Good yes. energy. Oh, Megan. Megan, Jonathan. Megan, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that one. All right. So anyway, I'm going to read about Megan and Jonathan. But of course, I'll let you know what I know and the reason why I choose to read on them. I read on them last year. What was the, what was it? Did you remember what it was last year that I read on them? Yes. Last year, it was, are they real or are they PR? Well, they're real. <laughs> yes, they sure are real. A whole year later. And it's let me just get this all together. I need you to pull up information for me because I'm going to quote and I need to know that, that my quoting is right. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, what I had something in my eye. Nothing is still and it's something feel like it's in my eye. But let me just go on and suffer through. Back to it. So anyway, he went to Yale and we realized that he had a daughter named um. Isabella. No, his wife's name is Ella, and the daughter. He was married. Ex girlfriend. So ex girlfriend. No, know. I don't. I don't need to know her. I just want to know what was the name of the baby. Her daughter. His daughter's name. Ella. Uh, let me see if I can find the name of his daughter. Well, anyway, he has a daughter, and apparently, this woman, the, this daughter, is by a woman of color. Yes. Yes. And um, from what I understand, and the, what brings me to this yes, story, we are correct. Ella is the name of the daughter. Ella. What brings me to this story is, it seems like Jonathan Major is in a place of, with with the with with the population or with the with the black folks. Got you. Especially, I'm going to say, I don't know about men, but I can say about women. They're disappointed or they disappointed in Megan. Is that her name, Megan? Yes, Megan. They're disappointed in Megan because Megan is with him and stood by him. But they're disappointed in him because he dealt with black, white women. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep it 100. Yes. He dealt with white women. And when he got in trouble for being an abuser, mm -hmm. allegedly, yes. Um, now he Megan come to his side, and they've been together for a year, over a year, and they're working through it. And people feel as though Megan is being used. And what I'm getting is that the black women are taking black your black card. What I mean is, it just seems like here. Amongst black, this is just my opinion. It seems like we, women are tired of black men going to white women when they get up on their feet. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, he came from Yale, so, you know, his college. So he's like for black women, not all, but just, just bear with me, just a stereotype, if I will. Um, but some truth to it. There are many black men in the entertainment field. Many. I, I, I would venture to say 75%. Okay. And the and the um 75% says I have no statistics. I'm just saying this off the top of my head. Everything I say is allegedly. Yes. What I'm saying is at least 75% of black men or black young boys, they go to white women when they get up on their feet. Or when they start reaching stardom, or they start reaching football, or whatever, basketball, but whatever it is. Whether it's a rapping, whether they're singing, whether whatever, many, many, not all, but 75% is a great number of men leaving black women yes. to go to the white woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so what I'm seeing now in our culture and American culture, that's all I know, is that they're starting to say, we're not going to support you. Yes. We're tired of supporting you. We can bring home the bacon. We can fry it in the pan. We can raise your children and still let your children know that they can grow up and be men. And so it seems like the black women are saying, enough. I want no parts of thee. And I think when Megan did, it's like it's a, a, it's a psychological picket line. And, and, and Megan, what's her last name? Good. Megan Good walked across that picket line and said, I feel sorry for the brother. Mm -hmm. I think that the brother deserve another chance because he's a he is, I am a Christian woman, and I have fallen short. And I I I believe she was in an affair with him before. What, I believe mean, that's what that phone call was uh -huh. all about. That's what I think. But let me get back to the story. So anyway, so it's like she's there. And she's letting me clear, especially when I saw her on, what's his name? Sh Shannon Sharp. Yes. She made it clear that's her man. And no matter how people call him unattractive, she find him very attractive. Yes, she did. And... I kind of like that actually okay. because my thing is if we don't forgive, we can't move on. That's true. And I'm saying we because I'm putting myself a part of the black woman, but even though I don't share in that, mm -hmm. I I think that we have to weigh it. We have to weigh it. You know? Um when we take back the black card, women, when we take it back, we take it back. But what I'm saying is he had a black baby. I mean, he had a baby of color. Yes? Yes, he And did. now that he had a baby of color, probably before when he was doing all what he was doing, and he went with white women and he tasted it, he liked it, but it seemed like it brought him no good. It seems to me at this point, the brother is like, I'm done. I'm done with this. Yeah. And he just ran back to a woman of color. And I feel as though if we're supposed to be, I don't want, if we're supposed to be high-minded and spiritual-minded, when do we forgive? Mm -hmm. Especially someone that's asking for forgiveness yes. and coming home. Like the prodigal son. Okay. Is the father supposed to say, no, 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 I see you all the way. Just keep and turn your butt around. My question is, if it was your son, your daddy, that was good to you, your son that you love, would you want him to be banned from his people? That's where I'm thinking. And, and for that, I like that Megan brings in the humanity of it all. And do I think he should be forgiven? That is not for me. He he never asked me to forgive him. It's up to Megan. And because I stand for women, mm -hmm. and I stand for freedom of choice, even with voting. Yes. I feel as though out of love, she went for him, and I think that she is his rescue ranger. And I think he will love her forever. 
But I'm a hopeless romantic. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She's older than he is. Right? I just think that he learned and yes, she is. How old is she? She is, let me double check, 42. Mm -hmm. And he is 34. See, he young. He's still a young man. Megan been around and around and around. Those buffaloes go around mm -hmm. the outside, around the outside. So she's been around and around. She dated many. She has much experience. He has experience with the white women and black. But for the brother to come home and Megan take some back, and far as I'm concerned, she's one of our platinum actors. She's been out there in the field for 30 years or more. Yes, she has been. You wanted to say something? Yes, uh, just briefly, quickly. She is a Leo, and he is a Virgo, and they are uh, neighbors on the wheel. They're neighbors on the wheel. It make, neighbors can work, we agree. You should have your opposite, but they can work. Yeah, because everyone seems to be drawn to their neighbors. Drawn to the ones that really find love is drawn to their numbers. And we have found out that many that are not, mm -hmm. that are scattered, they don't work. That's true. Kim and Kanye, what about them? Why they didn't work? Uh, maybe they're maybe. both air signs. He's a Gemini, she's a Libra. Cross the wheel. See, they don't work. They had things in common, but two air, fire on fire, air on air, you know, that's not good. How are you going to create? Mm -hmm. You stop. But people believe what they believe. Once upon a time, people live by these things. Yeah, you have your cards upside down. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. So this is about Megan. And Jonathan, yes. And what I want to know is, <clears throat> is he real? Are they real? The last time I wanted, I don't think they PR. I think this woman is really believing in this man, and he's a black man. And I give her props for this. Yeah, when we gotta forgive, if they come to us, mm -hmm. no matter what time, what kind of way they come, can't we be a Jesus in their life, a Buddha? A Muhammad? Yeah, I get it. A rabbi? A priest? A preacher? An evangelist? A nun? I'm missing some. A shaman? A shaman? A medicine woman? Medicine man? A voodoo, voodoo priestess? Do it now? Should we give them a chance? Yes, for sure. And maybe I'm just talking from the humanity part of it. No, because then, therefore, it will stop a perpetual cycle. Because maybe they'll come to the black woman, and then the black woman rejects them. And then they feel like, man, this is exactly why I don't like you black women. Then they didn't forgive, then didn't they? No, they did not. We're talking about the ones that forgive. Oh, okay. And right now, I'm believing that he really sorrowful. Mm -hmm. It's humiliating. It, is. it cost him a movie. It's cost him money. It would did. you go back? No. I would be petrified. Uh -huh. And to see that now I've got this beautiful actress being, if I'm a man, mm -hmm. and she's standing by me, I would never leave her. I would be indebted to her for the rest of my days. That's me, though. Yeah, I understand. If anybody leave it, to be her, but she don't have no reason to leave me because I would just love her if I was a man because I would be ever so grateful. Right. That's how I would be. And that's the position that I'm seeing him in. Now, he may not be that way at all. Time will tell. But nevertheless, if she gives him a chance and he fall from this day forward, no man would ever get a chance with me. Okay. You understand? I would be like, I'm, no. Sorry, you slipped, you fell. No, Jonathan Lane just messed it up for all of you. That's where I was standing. Sure, sure. That's, That's where I stand. So with that, let's see, let's get this reading on. Baby Cross, so she, I think, could you just do a simple cut? You know the right way to cut the cards. Okay. <clears throat> do it in the mirror so they in the uh, so they could see. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold up. Let me see. Okay. Just see your arm. Just uh -huh. see your arm. Okay. 
There we go. Yes. Thank she you she did. She's like, um, what's that on the Adams family? The hand. <laughs> the do. <laughs> so here we go. This is Megan or Jonathan? Um, Male Jonathan. Jonathan. Well, we got the world. So let's say that's Megan. Okay. We got the sword. Let's say Jonathan. Okay. So what we see here already, we see someone that's very mature, very wise, very wise, very spiritual, very high-minded, very confident, and somebody who's been around, who's seen many things, experienced. And we see someone here that this person, even though it is a sword and that it is high, it's, it's like the mind because this is the world which is in space, which is everything, right? But we see here, this person is beyond. Like when you look at the world, you look at everything, you everything. But when you look at the sword, you're looking at air, frequency. Yes? Yes. So we see right there, there could be a match in how she could be the high priestess in his life on a spiritual level. Okay. And if sexual things are good, which I'm going to find out. Okay. Don't let me forget. I won't. I want to know is, I want, okay, let's go on. Let me see what's on the, see, I see the high effect on her side, mean conformity meaning spiritual, meaning a place where he could rest his head and trust and get the right kind of guidance, even down to the business because they're in the same business. They're like each other best friend. They are not 100% compatible, not at all. But because if they hit, if they fit right, and if they're the true, they are neighbors regardless. Mm -hmm. So they are neighbors on the Zodiac wheel. So a neighbor is somebody you know, your neighbor. So, other than your spouse, but yeah. they could be gone, lost, married, trapped. We don't mm -hmm. know where they are because, but you know, it's supposed to design for things, this windy roads, we take wrong paths, we grow up in wrong homes, and so therefore we all scrambled and lost. Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. But if you live long enough, you will bump into that person because it's like your death, I think, is about the same time. Okay. Unless, yeah, or it would be a replace because it, it, as long as you're living, it's a chance that you can meet your spouse. That's always true. It's, as long as you're living, as long as that, because it wouldn't be fair. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't. But like say that spouse got killed or something, mm -hmm. it would be another one already set in place. Does right. that make sense? Yes, it does. So, so when you die, not that's not designed to be alone. Right. So when you die, that's your mate. It already dies with you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So anyway, we see, did you like that? Yes, I did. Okay. So we see here, we see the higher thing, and that's somebody spiritual. And like I said, he's, she's a place, he's, he's mental. He's been mentally bruised and he's coming out triumph on this. Whether he was right or wrong, whatever he did, I like to say this, let the truth be truth. And that every other person be a liar. Okay, I like that. Above his head, I see the star. hope. This man has been bruised. Ooh, I feel a spirit. Okay. He's sorry. He has been humiliated. I can hear him saying, I'm a man from... Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I'm educated. Like, life for me wasn't easy. Like, I know I'm ugly. I had to work hard. I just feel like he downloaded. And I feel like he went to the white women because the black women didn't want him. Because he was ugly. Wait a minute. Um, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And then when he started getting up on his feet, that's just where he was. 
And he said, I have a, a daughter that's black. I never give up on my mama black. I keep him saying, I'm an educated black man. I didn't get here by you. Did he come from money? Because I'm getting the impression that he did not come from no money. Just because he's intelligent and that he was smart. And like he, like, I know I was ugly. Nobody wanted me. That's why he said built his body. He wanted, he was just born to act. He always found that fascinating. Um, it says, it seems like it's coming in like partway through the story, but it says the resulting financial insecurity forced Major's mother to frequently move the family, though they eventually settled in the Dallas area. See? Mm -hmm. Told you. He had to. Where does he place in the line of children? Do you know? Okay, let's see. Is he the oldest or is he next to the old? Is he a part of the one, the one, two, three? Or how many children does she have? Now, some of you may not like this. He has, he is the middle child. He has an older sister and a younger brother. See? Who going to make it? Who gotta, who's got to stand? He right in the middle, the oldest son, an older sister. He's, do you see where his life is? He struggled. It wasn't easy. I see on his side, he loves her with all the, Faults and and and, by, and not only that he find her beautiful. He he find her. He's like enamored with her. He find like it's like to be with this beautiful. I'm just expressing how I'm receiving this. It's like to him. He's she's the most beautiful black woman that ever would want to date him like he's in awe he was was in awe of that this is this is Susie what i'm picking up he is eternally grateful and yeah there's always a chance he could get fall off the wagon you know it's just like a person that drink alcohol mm -hmm. you are at it once you quit Drinking or drugging or whatever you do, sexing, gambling, whatever. There's always a chance of a temptation you go back to anything. But the sobriety is to override it. Right. So being addicted to white women is just like any other drug. Mm -hmm. That go for women as well. Right? Yeah. But I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But he loves her. This is a heavy read. And right below him, it's like I see somebody offering him. I just get the impression and a picture that it's like I'm done with white women. This could be in now. Everything I say is allegedly. I'm just reading the cards. What it look like it's sad to you? Yes, definitely. He's With your not hand. Gonna, not gonna say and it's a little anything. hand. And it's like it's like a little tiny hand with a cup. Like, uh-uh, I don't, I don't trust that. Yep. It's glowing, it's gold, it's silver, it look like it's rich, but uh-uh, that hand don't look right. And it's like, he said there was arms going, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Once bitten, twice shy. He's like, mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm done, I'm done with that. I wanna, and I think Megan brought him home. And the question is, instead of him leaving, what if she left? Or maybe she found the answer to her dream yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Okay? So we got this. So what is what would be a problem? What, what could be the problem? I think what's the problem is the stillness of it all. The slowing down of the movies. Uh -huh. the, the not knowing. The not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing how much this is going to hurt the career. I mean, it's already hurt his career. But even if he was proven um, uh, innocent, 
does this it, would it, he's already stigmatized he's at this place of uh, wondering will i ever get out of this that's what i mean still contemplation thinking in his head and he came in with the sword so is it the sex that is it sex that making love <laughs> oh okay Yes. Baby, phone go <laughs> Well, first off, we have... You can hold it up if you like. Just hold it over. Okay. Yeah. First off, we have the hangman, which symbolizes somebody reflecting upon their decisions or what they do. Mm -hmm. Then we have the ace of cups, which symbolizes good emotional times. Thank you. Ace of Cups represents that good emotional times, that good loving. In the beginning, like, I mean, how everything is so good. How oh, it yes. so could be easy. like that honeymoon yeah, stage. Yeah, that honeymoon stage, all that emotion and love, though. It's still in this day. Yes. Good God. My. And we have the queen. <laughs> the queen of all emotions. Yes. Yes, she is feeling herself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, ain't nothing they can't do, girl. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Then, <laughs> I don't stop reading the cards. I'm sorry. And then the Ace of Pentacles representing a good start to this um, earthly relationship. Yes. Like they on a good start. Mm -hmm. And she loves him. And he loves her. And I think I get this last feeling of for right where she feeling, it's like this is this is right for me. This is This is how I want my man to feel. This okay. is, this is, no, that's not the right word. This is how I want my man to make me feel. It's like she feels a sense of empowerment. She feels a sense of being needed and, 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 and really validated. Like she doesn't feel like I'm just Megan who's an actress, but, and I don't have to succumb to some man over me because he's a man of God. And what I, but this is somebody who sees her as great. As because remember, also she's older than him. Mm -hmm. So to see somebody that's looking up to her with that, with that admiration, with that love, and it seems like to me she knows how to harness that and not abuse that because of her spirituality, okay. right? Yes. And but here they will make a lot of money together, or when I say a lot, enough where you ain't begging. Okay. okay, or crying for bread, or begging for a baby need a new pair of shoes. You understand? So, but I do see financially they can grow together, and they looking at a future together. Will it come to fruition? Will they last for the next five years? Okay. <sighs> Well, all I know, baby Chrome, tell me you see what I see. Okay. I see he is. I see he is. I don't see not one female card. Well, yeah, I can see that most definitely. When I look above, mm -hmm. yeah, that's where she was. When I look below, mm -hmm. I see the dashing night and I see the cup. So if I look at that night, that night is like either she's thinking he's going to come and grab her and snap her out of her days, or he's going to run, or she's going to run to him and snap him out. However, I still see that same sword pointed up here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. And I see that, that back where that money is, I see that that he's willing, he's going to bring it. He's going to start making money. He's going to start making money. And I think that he wants people to know I'm not going to leave. She might leave him. Because, but he's not leaving her. Okay. And it's like, he's there. That's what the card said. But what I know, I'm a whole card reader. <laughs> That's what I see. You have a question. If you're good, you're good. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I just wanted to get in there and, and really vent and say my mind. But let me just do three cards of a final outcome for okay, her. Okay, that would be good. 
Because I found out, I feel like we found out something that he wasn't expecting. What I see here, baby prone, I see judgment. Mm -hmm. Not a swore, sleepless nights. And I see the magician. Baby Cone, I don't know about you, but what I see here is they're going to go through some things. Okay. As any relationship, trying times, sleepless nights over a job, over a relationship, over this, over that, over my baby daddy, my baby mama, whatever, or her ex, whoever, whatever. Things happen in a relationship. Mm -hmm. But before it all, I see forgiveness. And I see a time where they have to really let those things go and put those things in their past. Like he may have to really work on his temper or maybe really work on his anger or his bitterness. You know, sometimes it's hard for men once they've been bitten, especially by a rattlesnake. And I'm not calling these women rattlesnakes. I'm just saying something deadly. And, but they use new stakes as women. They do. And I'm saying once you've been bitten, a lot of times men are very messed up. They, it's hard for them to get over that. And to be so publicly humiliated. And for your own people, women, to say, we are taking your black card. Yes. We don't want you. We don't want to help you. And this is the cry. And these women are the women that look beyond your looks and your body and saw you were beautiful and loved you. And you, they just felt let down by you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but through these moments, I see that the magician is there and he will rise up to the occasion and he will make it better. But time will tell. And if anybody walk from this relationship from where I'm seeing today, because cards change, if anybody would leave, it would be Megan. Okay. Because I saw no women here. Mm -hmm. And the only woman that I saw here, this is a spiritual card, is a woman crying. Oh. When I see it over here for the world, this is a woman that's way mature. She's very mature. And I'm also seeing him. He's a sword being victorious. This man is somebody where he can lay his head. He got peace. Yeah. You understand? And see, the cards show here where he still needs peace. And even at the end, now we see the woman in the middle of forgiveness, in the middle of everything. And also, we see the magician mm -hmm. that can make all things possible. I hope that reading yes, makes sense. That is true. This was a little long reading because I really had to talk about it because I really just see that it's just a lot of things going on. And I guess at the end of the day, I think that I forgive him. I forgive him for what he did and I forgive him for what he didn't do. Oh, okay. about that? Yep, that's and good. with that being said, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe if you got this far to the reading. Give us a thumbs up, right? Yes, thumbs up. <laughs> Please, if not, subscribe. We appreciate it. We need your votes. We're, we're really counting on you to help us. Yes. With that being said, what do we say? Sunflowers! <laughs>